reporters from around the world to this breaking news coverage. An American journalist has been beheaded by ISIS terrorists. A video showing the horrific killing and its gruesome aftermath was released on the internet a short while ago, along with a message to the United States to end its intervention in Iraq. The victim was freelance journalist James Foley, who was kidnapped in 2012 while covering the war in Syria. In the video, he is seen kneeling next to a man dressed in black. Foley reads a message, presumably scripted in detail by his captors, that his real killer is America. The video, which is obviously too gruesome for us to show you, then shows Foley's beheading. After that, it shows another American journalist also dressed in orange and kneeling, and that man is believed to be Steve Sotloff, a contributor to Time magazine who was kidnapped at the Syrian-Turkish border in 2013. The terrorist says his life is hanging in the balance, depending on what President Obama does next. Let's bring in our uh, senior international correspondent, Nick Payton Walsh. He is in Erbil in northern Iraq. Nick? Brianna, James Foley was kidnapped in November 2012, a comparative long time ago. Uh, when the Syrian civil war was on the way near a town called Taftanaz, Binish, uh, whilst coming out of an internet cafe. There, uh, it was unclear at that time who had taken him, and back then, ISIS, as it's now known, didn't really exist inside Syria, and less uh, so in its current form in Iraq. So clearly within the 636, if you count the day, days in which he was held in captivity, uh, he changed hands within the underground that functions as sort of Syria's kidnap business. There are a lot of Americans, it seems, held, have been held at some point, or other foreigners, by the various different groups that make up Syria's uh, rebels at times, some of them more criminal, some of them moderate. And as time has gone by, uh, ISIS, it seems, has moved.